So this is the original circuit diagram of the three dial box for uh, from Charles Cosmanio. So he's got the a can for his witness, I'm using a plate. He's then got a stick pad which acts as the second plate. Okay. But he's also got the one headphone jack and another headphone jack there. Uh, as you can see he's um, made a dot where there is a connection where you solder and he's just drawn a line straight through where there is no connection. So you've got a wire coming down from one plate which has a junction going to a potentometer. Then it goes down to the headphone jack, then from the headphone jack back up to the witness plate. Okay, so essentially I'll need to cut the cable for the headphone jack and connect it to the witness plate, to the potentometer, and then from the potentometer to the uh, to the witness plate. And for the witness plate connections, I'm using the crocodile clips. Then these are done in series. Now you've got three outputs. You're only going to be using the middle one and one on the side on at each potentometer. Okay? Because then that will be using it properly so you'll be tuning in the right way. So the three potentometers, one, two, three in series, the output from potent of the final potentometer goes up to the stick pad, and there's a stick pad connection down to the headphone jack. And then what I find rather weird is that there is another connecting wire, again from the witness to the stick pad. Okay, on the inside of the box. So that means your two plates are connected. So the fact you've got two plates, that's partially a separation of the mind rather than just a separation of the, of the physical plates. And the circuit diagram doesn't make any sense from the point of view of electronics. We can say that without the shadow of a doubt, but it's not meant to. It's meant to be there to contain the intention and deliver it to the target. Okay. This is on page 63 of his psionic warfare which you can download from his website so do it i mean all his ebooks out there are free in pdf format so go and get the lot just do it before he like decides to sell the fucking things all right hopefully you can see this here one two three variable resistors got the hookup wires going to crocodile clips at the back through the holes there you got the um headphone um sockets coming out there. One problem I've got, uh, because I didn't actually think it through properly I suppose, was I haven't actually made um, an extra jump connection across there at the back for the plate, so I'll use yet another crocodile clip to connect the two plates on the outside. So there's going to be um, three crocodile clip connections to each plate on the top, <coughs> but on the other hand it should still serve function and be complete in terms of the Cosmanio star. I might try a bit of work um, dowsing in the rest of that without the extra connection and see how that works and try it with it because like the energy should you know on the basis that all the theories are correct the energy should still flow okay. Now it's a question of getting these through the little holes I prepared for them and seeing if I can fit them and make it look um, comparatively okay. Here we go. Now the reason that this is a nearly completed box rather than a completed box is because I have to, um, I still haven't received the hot glue gun. I want to get these things stuck on properly so they don't fall off and in a good position. Uh, and I also haven't made the detector yet, the stick pad, which I want to put into the output here when the time comes. Okay, I found it rather fiddly. Um, but, I mean. It must have been about like 20 years since I was doing soldering and playing with electronic project kits, or more than that, probably. And since those days, like I've got it, my, you know, my hands are a bit more shaky and <laughs> uh, my eyesight isn't as good, so either way, it was a bit more complicated. What I should have done is got a hobbyist clamp, and those things have got lots of little grips which you can use to hold things. So if I want to do more soldering in the future, which I probably will do if I'm going to make more of these things, I'll have to get myself on those hobbyist clamps and get everything done. Either way, you know, as you can see, the uh, the dials are now in place for the variable resistors, and essentially what we should have here is a proper, fully working, unpowered, intention-powered radionics box in accordance with the Cosmanio design. Okay.
So it's going to look good, it's going to feel good. For the moment I can practice, I can just use that as my stick pad. Uh, input, output, uh, input, witness, that sort of thing. And just um, see how it goes. It does feel good to have made something like this. And um, there we go. That's the, the first part of the Cosmanio system constructed. Alright. And also these, uh, you know, the various input and output can be used with his other devices in order to assist. I mean, he uses the three dial box for spirit communication with the spirits from, from the Lesser Key of Solomon, for instance. Uh, so that's one of the uses these things can, can be put to. I'd have to get on to making the helmet and the rest of that with the passage of time. But there we go. Simple, three dial, radionics box, a la Charles Cosmanio Uncle Chucky. Looks mad scientisty, feels mad scientisty, but it's still based upon traditional principles. So there we go.